Uh, hi guys, this is Mr. Apple125 here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys on the HP Elite Wireless Keyboard. I um, I just purchased this keyboard from Amazon.com. Uh, the keyboard cost $23 and it, uh, it, the description mentions that it's actually um, used like new and you know, it looks brand new, so which is really cool. Um, what I'll do for you guys is I'll actually post a link below so you guys can uh, check it, check the keyboard out on Amazon.com and check it out for yourself. If you're going to buy this keyboard, I would recommend that you actually buy it used uh, because if you want to buy it brand new, it's going to cost you $30. But, you know, whatever your choice is, go for it. It's a really cool keyboard. It comes with this receiver that you see right here. You just plug the receiver into the port and should be good to go. You also get an installation CD that comes with it. So uh, you can you can use this to uh, install the keyboard. Well, they recommend that you use this, but honestly, you don't really need to use it. The keyboard should work on plug and play. Just uh, put the batteries in and just plug this thing in, and it should start working automatically. You don't really need the CD. But if it doesn't work that way, then uh, you should go ahead and use the CD. But I would honestly, but I would first recommend that you try plug and play, and it should work for most of you guys. And of course, it comes with the installation C installation guide, which honestly you don't really need. Um, one really thing, really cool thing about this keyboard is, you know, as you can see, it's super, super slim, which is something I really love about it. Really, really slim. See, it's really slim. Uh, I'll come. I'll show you guys the back here. This is the back of the keyboard. Uh, you over here. You have a connect button right there. That blue button right here. That's a, that is a connect button. If your keyboard doesn't uh, doesn't start working automatically, just uh, just press the connect button, and uh, your receiver should blink, and you should be seeing a blue light on the receiver. But uh, once again, uh, you know it should it should work. Everything should be functional. So um, that's pretty much it for the review. Um, if you have any questions, comments about the keyboard, please post them below, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.